Wait a minute. I'm a man! I'm a man! I am a man! Oh yeah! I'm a man! Yes I am! And look at this! Look at lamps! There's no testosterone in these things! They're powered by electricity! That's no good! I want noise! I want power! There's not even a pull cord! Lamps, your world is gonna change! acquired myself this old heat lamp which is brilliant because it kind of looks like a death trap anyway so we'll take the uh, heat bit out of it stick a bulb in it and this is our surrogate lamp to power it of course we've got the old chainsaw so we're gonna whip the engine out of that sit it underneath here like so and then off the uh, the spindle or whatever you want to call it the crank We'll have a little belt driver or a chain or something which can go onto like a little alternator dynamo thing, motor generator, create the electricity and come up and feed the ball. We'll have like a little throttle on here somewhere and it'll be like rim, 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 and it'll be super bright hopefully. And there we are. Awesome, right. Let's get the engine out of this, which I think, uh, I think it's about 49cc, but I don't know because I, I sprayed it. I can't see anything on it now. Hmm. <laughs> where we find out that the plastic casing is integral to the working of the machine. Ah, we're going to need that. I hey, haven't thought about this, Colin, have you? Just gone belting away with, oh, I'll make a two-stroke lamp, I will. Oh, I dreamt about a chainsaw. Right, that's kind of pulled it to bits a bit. There's more plastic left on this thing than I would have liked. I wanted kind of like a bare aluminium engine, but like the fuel tank and bits around the carburetor are all still there and stuff. If I'm not happy, I'm gonna take more of it off. I don't know why I've walked off that direction because I actually do everything just here. That's better, eh? Try again, we get rid of more stuff. Now I've got rid of the plastic petrol tank, so I'm gonna have to make my own. But before we go any further, this is gonna be like a bedside table lamp. So I've made myself a little wooden base. Keep it tidy. So I'm gonna put that down there. Now I need to mount this somewhere on here, like that. Oh, don't forget, look at this, look. 3D printing, this is what it's useful for, look. Made a little like uh, shroud to hold a little air filter so we could do away with all the air filter. Yeah. So we just need to fix it on it, get some mounts somewhere. So mainly off there, I think, where the uh, chainsaw bar used to go. And then we'll have to cobble on somewhere around here, around near the pull cord. Right, next job, Colin, next job. We're using the CNC. I'm cheating a little bit. this up with all the rubber bits in without them melting because I figured it's worth a try it is Colin where's your welding rod let's not worry about it for this bit Clutch. Wong! 
The chainsaw engine mounted and it still works. Excellent. Now we need a little. Uh, we need electricity. We've got this little motor generator unit. So 3,000 RPM. This should generate 12 volts. I think we'll mount that up there somewhere. So we'll have a little plate. There's a couple of fixings here we can use. And then also I want to put this little uh, petrol priming thing on the end of it as well, so it tidies that up. We'll put a bit of adjustment in it, so when we get ourselves a belt or something that we can attach onto here. We can uh, we can tension it up. Oh, don't you just want one? This is uh, this stands for uh, centrifugal force, not not Colin first. For anyone that you uh, wondered that. Oh, lovely! Oh, oh yeah. Are you gonna fit? Yes, you are. Ah. Mm. Right, it's got two. Yeah. Right then, we've got an output shaft. We've got two output shafts. One from the engine, one from the Jenny. Now, luckily enough, on the chainsaw one, we've got a centrifugal clutch. So we can, if we can somehow connect onto the back of that, then at tick over, we won't be generating any electricity and there will be no light. So you will have to rev it to get light. Oh yeah. Been to the belt and pulley shop. Got some little, uh, these little wheels, and I've got plenty of different sizes of belts, even though we've got adjustment, but you know, it's best to have a bit of a, bit of a selection. Drill them out, put them on, fix them on, there. Sorted, belts all connected, just need somewhere to put the old one! we go steampunk as a eh? no, no no there's a little addition of a motor speed controller because I'm using that as like a dimmer switch which stops the voltage peaking and blowing the ball so all we need to do now is give it a bit of a polish bit of a clean up paint the wood and then when I've done that it'll look like this Ta -da! yes this is the steampunkiest thing I have ever made I mean the turkey spinner was steampunk and so was the thermite launcher but this I really like this Now 
to show off the uh, practical application of this wonderful creation, I've made a nice little short video that'll be linked at the end of this video. And there we are, the two-stroke lamp for the man.